which we are organizing for soloists, freelancers and other people who are on their own in business. Basically because we don't think anybody except the people who are doing it is in any position to give us advice. So we're organizing this just as a way to get people together, share experiences, be each other's teachers and hopefully have a really good day. Soloing is a kind of thing where there's no template and nobody can tell you how to do it. You have to find out for yourself the hard way. Uh, how to market yourself, how to get paid on time, how to know what's a realistic rate to set and all the rest of it. And uh, this is really an opportunity for people to get together and maybe shorten the learning curve for all of us a little bit. Our conference, so the format of the day is very loose. We're planning uh, two morning sessions with a nice coffee break in between. Um, long lunch time so people can network and chat to each other. An afternoon session uh, and then an hour long coffee break in the afternoon which we really hope people will be able to use to network, follow up on ideas that they've had and connections they've made during the other sessions. We know that often the nicest part of a conference is the coffee breaks, so we're making the most of those. And the, the format's very really loose in terms of topics. Um, we've got a lot of topic ideas people have contributed. Those will all go up on a, on a paper-based wiki, we're calling it, just a big whiteboard with lots of post-it notes on it. We'll move things around during the day. Um, Freelance Central has got involved in the Flying Sideline Conference because we deal with freelancers on a daily basis. Um, I get inquiries from people having trouble getting money from clients who want to know how much they should be charging their rates. Um, they want to know, how do I get started as a freelancer? Um, and some of them are just lonely and they want to collaborate perhaps with other freelancers. Maybe they don't have all, their, all the skills in-house that a client is asking for. So we really want to get involved there to provide a forum where freelancers can get together and network. Um, they can share, they can collaborate. For me, the most exciting thing about the Flying Solo event is that we're going to have 80 creative, dynamic, independent people in a room together, um, which may make for complete chaos, but I think it's going to be good chaos. It really gets, gets me going with the idea of having 80 amazing people in the room, and the collective experience of those people um, is going to really generate some great ideas. Um, and Basically, as, as the organisers, we don't profess to have all the answers, uh, but what we're hoping to do is to facilitate a forum whereby we can extract a lot of answers from the people who are attending. Uh, we're hoping that we're going to come up with some really innovative ways of managing clients and managing your work and coping with being a soloist, which is an exciting thing to be, but it's also quite challenging. There's, there's a lot of things that you have to learn, and to learn from each other, I think, is going to be the, the best part of the day. Well, Jabal's been so kind by offering to video us not just now to do some promotion for the event, but also on the day he's going to be doing video coverage and he's going to be taking photographs and uploading them live onto websites like Flickr and Zoopy and YouTube. So that's going to be very cool. So Jamal is the man behind the camera right now and we're going to make him stand up on Saturday. Have <laughs> anybody all about how he's done this? We've got an incredible variety of people. We've got photographers, we've got architects, we've got freelance PAs, we've got freelancers or soloists of every description, which I think is really going to bring a richness to the day. We're not just doing this event in Cape Town, we haven't forgotten about our colleagues up country. So on the 13th of September we've got another flying solo conference happening up in Joburg. So we're hoping that all our northern friends are going to come along to that event. We do have some sponsors on board for the Cape Town event on Saturday, which is quite cool. Um, to start with uh, Quirk, who are an e-marketing company, they've just launched um, an e-marketing textbook which is making huge waves in the online arena, not just in South Africa, but also internationally. So we have Tim Shear from Quirk, who's going to be coming to the event on Saturday. He's going to be giving away the book and he's going to be talking about it. The book is also downloadable on the internet for free, um, but the hard copy is fantastic, so come along and uh, you know, stand in line to, uh, to win one of those. Um, the other sponsors we have, um, one of our main sponsors this weekend is 210 on Long Creative Suites, which is a new building that's been renovated in Long Street um, to provide a kind of networking and business premises for freelancers and soloists um, in the creative and media industries, both locally and internationally. Is, oh, Huddle Mind are being fantastic. Huddle Mind Labs are sponsoring us all the AB equipment for the day which is great, so we're going to have projectors and a screen and people in the back will be able to hear us, thanks to Huddle Mind. Okay. Also, um, because people might be wanting to do blogging or upload pictures, like Jamal will be, 
on Saturday um, we have Skyrove on board who are a wireless internet hotspot provider. They do have a hotspot set up at the Wild Fig and they'll be providing some vouchers so that people can get online for free during the course of the day as well. So thank you very much to Henk and the Skyrove team for supporting us. We're also hoping that um, based on the success of the events now that we'll get some more sponsors on board and we can make the events bigger and better and get more endorsement from the corporate community as well and more support from them. Freelancers and solos to take over the world. <laughs>